Okay, so today I'm going to show you the quickest and the easiest way to make hand sanitizer or hand disinfecting. Okay, some people call it disinfecting, some people call it hand sanitizer. Well, hand sanitizer and hand disinfecting is the same thing. Okay, that's me <laughs> just to get that over with. Um, very easy and simple. All you need is actually hydrogen peroxide. And yes, I have tested on the three point uh, percent. The three percent worked just as good. Um, and all you need is bubble bath or baby shampoo. Okay, like Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo. You can actually put pet shampoo too because they are they are made um very um for instance this one right here no allergies okay that's what we want remember that's why i said to use baby bath or baby shampoo because they are non-prone allergy products and that's what um we are using and it's really easy you would need this is a hundred mil a hundred mil um container okay please do 100 mil at a time only the reason why for that is that because it only lasts about two days so even if you if you if you don't use it for every two days then do 50 mil okay and the percentage I like the best, and I said I like the best, is 15%. So 15% baby shampoo or foaming bath or pet shampoo and then our hydrogen peroxide. Now, the foaming, um, the foaming spray is how where the secret is, okay? And that's where I'm going to show you right now. Okay, this is how it comes out. You see that? You see that nice foam? And that's why I call it the foam spray. Okay, I'm going to bring really close so you can see. Okay. So, literally, we just put it out of hand here. Now, for me, I like it at 20%. The reason why for that is because I want it to leave it a little longer. The trick to hydrogen peroxide is that we have to leave it a little bit extra longer. But right now we have no choice. There's no alcohol. There's no aloes or anything like that. And this actually, believe it or not, it is actually more effective. <laughs> Funny is that, right? And cheap and simple and it's still available. Yep. Now, you see how it's starting to dry up? That's the secret. We want it to dry slower. By drying it slower, it will kill any bacteria or viruses on our hands. And see, it takes a while. But please remember, remember, you have to leave it for like a minute. So do this for like a minute, okay? To ensure at least it has to be a minute. 45 seconds or more. Okay, I know it's a little slower killing these things, but that's what we need. So right now, I have about 75 to almost 80% in here. I'm sorry you can't really see. There, there it is. There's a line right there. Okay, and all you have to do is add your soap into that to make it 100%. Okay, now this is about 80, 20. You can get away with, if you don't like too much foam, you can get away with 75. Shake this all up. Now, our secret. Go to the store. Oh, sorry. Go to the store. And get the foam spray. Okay. Go to the dollar store. They have this for a dollar. Dump it out. Or save it for your other projects. Or 
or, or, or spray, whatever. They have these foam spray. And all you have to do is dump it in there. The secret to that is that to make foam is right here. That's the secret to make the foam. And helping with the bubbles. So now, you just take this and drop it in here. And it's the world easiest hand sanitizer. Hand disinfectant. Hand sanitizer. Hand disinfectant. Whatever you want to call it. Okay, because some people would say something to this. Because that's what they did to my last video. So, I'm just going to cover it all. But it doesn't matter. At this time, we need help. Anything would be better than nothing. And that's what people don't understand. And because they don't understand, they come every corner. They'll try every corner to attack me. Yep. Imagine attacking me at this time of an age. Yeah. Check some of the video. You you get a good laugh at it. But anyway, let's bring it us back to the good side, okay? Because I like to concentrate on good stuff. I don't like to concentrate on negative stuff. So now, just shake it up a little bit. And you noticed, okay? Here's the important thing. They always put it in a dark container. Why is that? They put it in the dark container because hydrogen peroxide cannot be out in the light. Okay? That's more education for you. So that's why we have to keep it in a dark bottle. In this case, light cannot get through here because this is all like black, white, or green, or whatever you have. But something like this here is a no-no because it's clear light can go through here. Okay? So when you go to the store and get one of these things right here, it's just a regular soap. I got it at the dollar store. And then you just bring that home. Dump it out. You can actually use that too. A little bit of that. But here's the thing. I don't really like those. That's why I, I always emphasize use baby products, baby shampoo, baby foaming, or pets. Because they're very good for the skin. Remember that. And look what it says. Sensitive skin formula. They knew that that's what's happening. And that's why I said. And I said it one more time before I go. Foaming bath. But it has to be kids. Baby shampoo. Okay. And pet if you have that. It will work. The point to this is that we want to make the foam. And I'll demonstrate it one more time for you. We want to make it as foamy when it comes out. Just like that. Why is that? The reason why for that is that if you noticed, I put it on my hand. It takes a while. Okay? And that's the education for this. It takes a while for that to disappear. That way, our brain would say, okay... I'm going to wait until all these bubbles are gone. Okay? And that's why I use soap. But further than that, further than that, soap actually break out their protective shell so they can attack the protein. Soap and protein, like fat proteins and stuff, does not work. That's why soap works so well on, on, on oil. So... The reason why for that is that we want it to, it to stay on our hand for a long time. This to remind us is that we have to wait until it's all dry. Get it? So that's the basic concept to this. And yes, I am the first person in the world to make this. And you can see my other videos. I uploaded that long ago, a while back. And I figured it out how to combat but also help people to remind people at the same time. And remember, and remember, your nails, okay, before I go, your nails is important. Do this first to your nails, okay? Do this first to your nails, all of your nails. Leave it for a little while. Pump two spray, then goes all through here. And then go up here too, okay? Because you have to, you have to remember... Your sleeves, during this time, please wear long sleeves. And also, 
to protect yourself, I have a video right up here. I'll link it right up here and at the end, okay? Please watch that video. It's only like 10 minutes. It will help you, okay? And that's all you need to do. And see, you pat dry. So now you know, now you know that when all these bubbles and all these things dried up, you know that this will be gone. And remember, remember before I go, this is for outside usage only. Meaning, if you are inside a house, there's no need for you to do this. This is when you go outside. This is when there's nothing left. But we are smarter than that. I show you the route, okay? And it's the easiest thing in the world to do this. And I am telling you a lot, a lot, a lot of people love it from my last video. But I want to update this to tell you further than that. And I also leave a description for you how I figured out why so you can understand further. If you like to get into that, if you want to get into that learning stage, okay? Because this time education is important. But most of all, most of all, the behind the concept so people can understand. And like I stated, I'll state it one more time. You can call it hand sanitizer, hand disinfectant, um, whatever you want to call it, okay? Antiseptic, they call it too. So whatever you want to call it, as long as we kill the virus, that's what's important, okay? Other than that, that's about it on this video. And I hope that this video will help you to understand a little bit better. But not importantly, understand what to do and what to use. And yes, I will leave the formula for that on the description as well. Other than that, that's about it on the video. And I will see you in the next video. Okay?